In this video I want to show you how to get the Steam version of Freedom Force running in Windows 10. When running the game for the first time in Steam, I experienced some major issues. On the first mission, I could not order my hero to move at all using the left mouse button. The cursor would remain a fist for attacking. I also experienced an issue where the character would just disappear. Even when I was able to order the character to move using the right click menu, the character did not move around correctly. Here you can see what it looked like. Now I'm going to show you three things you can try to correct this. I'm not sure why these work, but all three methods work for me. First, you can try to launch the game outside of Steam. To do this, find Freedom Force in Steam, right click and go to Properties. Then click the Local Files tab and then the Browse Local Files button. This will open up File Explorer in the directory where Freedom Force is installed. Then you can just double click the F Force executable to run the game. This fixes the game as seen here. Justice! Right makes might! For justice! The second thing you can try is to right click the F Force executable and go to Properties. Then, in the Compatibility tab, under the Settings section, click Run this program as administrator. Hit Apply and then OK. Then you can launch the game from Steam by clicking the Play button as normal, and this also seems to fix the left mouse button issue, as you can see in the video here. Right makes might! The third option is to run the game in compatibility mode. Right click the F Force executable and go to properties. Then, in the compatibility tab, under compatibility mode, run the game in Windows 95 or Windows 98 slash Windows ME mode. They both seem to work about the same. Here I am picking Windows 95. The problem I discovered with this option is that the music will sometimes stutter. However, the game worked fine other than that. Here you can see the results. I want to discuss one other issue I experienced with this game. Sometimes when I would switch resolutions in the game, I would lose sound. To fix this, you just need to go into the Game Options and then the Sound tab and pick Direct Sound 3D Software Emulation as the provider. You might have to exit the level and reload to actually fix it. One other thing I would like to mention is that this game is now available on GOG.com, and while I don't own that version, I have read it works fine on Windows 10. So if the three options I gave don't work for you in Steam, you may want to try the GOG version. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps.